Nursing homes across the country remain hot spots for COVID-19. The Life Care Center in Athens, Tennessee tells Channel 3 that nine residents have died, 71 have tested positive. Channel 3's Hunter Hoagland joins us live from Athens. He talked with a family who recently lost a loved one staying at that facility. Hunter. Yeah, Greg, I talked to family members of a woman who died here on Friday from the coronavirus. She became the eighth person here to be killed from it, though her family says she's so much more than just a number. The pain these roses represent is new, but the woman who inspired them will live on through years of life lessons. But to love everybody, regardless through the years, I mean, that's something she put in every one of our heads. Rose Smith was 89 years old. Her granddaughter Tara says she was the nursing home's social butterfly and was called friend by everyone who passed through the Life Care Center of Athens. When she looked at you and talked to you, she had the most beautiful smile, beautiful personality. Rose became sick with COVID-19 on April 24th. With no visitors allowed inside, she fought the battle alone. On Friday, 14 days later, the sweet smile Tara loved was gone. She was an amazing woman. I was so proud to have her as my grandmother. Ford says her grandmother's legacy will live on for generations. She leaves behind nine kids of her own, 12 grandchildren, and 24 great grandchildren. She has 12 great, great, great grandchildren. <laughs> Ford has seen firsthand the ugliness of COVID-19 and the sorrow it leaves behind. She hopes others will continue being mindful of the toll this pandemic can take on the elderly people and the risk close contact can create. Just wear your mask, stay at home as much as possible. Ford says they have only positive things to say about the way employees here at Life Care handled the situation. Live in Athens tonight, I'm Hunter Hoagland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank